Oh, yes. And the first to notice it was a little girl named Tess. I can't remember any of my dreams, she sighed. Me, neither, one of her friends cried. I used to have the best dreams every night, and now, nothing. <gasps> but something floated into the room at half past eight. But he wasn't bad. So, Marcia, how does it feel to be the godmother of a cruise ship? It feels pretty awesome, to tell you the truth. I get to christen the ship next week, and they've designed a wonderful event. Uh, just just if, for people listening, if they don't know, I get to be the godmother for the carnival, the new ship, the Carnival Dream ship. It's the largest family fun, family uh, oriented ship that they have, and they're launching it anew, which they don't do every day, so this is a big deal. And we're launching it here in the New York Harbor on the Hudson River, which is my city right now. And uh, I get to. Uh, bat a champagne bottle with a bat signed by Aaron, so that's a big deal and it's just going to be wonderful and i wish the the godmother this is an old maritime tradition actually that the godmother wishes the ship fair winds and smooth sails and safe passage and i'm thrilled to do it for for many reasons but for this huge one is that carnival is launching into uh, a give back situation with saint jude hospital which is the hospital that takes care of so many kids who are suffering from cancer and takes care of their families. And they're going to be raising $3 million for these kids, and they're also doing it through some innovative ideas on the ship where families who are on a cruise, sailing with their families, get to play games, let's say, or take part in a dance-a-thon or something, and that raises money for these kids and families. So it's just a win-win across the board. It raises awareness, it raises money, and. Um, and, and also families who they're having a good time. Absolutely, and were you ever a cruiser, so to speak? You go on cruises? <laughs> well, now, that's another story. Um, my dad was in the Navy, Robin, and so he, was a, he retired as a naval captain. We got to travel all over the world, and we were stationed in Japan brief, well, not briefly, it was three years. That was a long stretch, actually. And so they decided that we would come back from Japan to America on a cruise. And we came back and stopped in Hawaii. And it was an absolute blast. And you have to think that at the time, it wasn't a military ship, it was a, a domestic ship. But at the time, that ship must have been a dinosaur compared to what these ships are today. This one, the Carnival has a water slide and a, a putt-putt golf course and a spa for you know, the adults. It's just kind of incredible. But it was a great time and families being on vacation together, whether it's camping and adventure or being on a cruise, I just think it's the really a great way for families to be together and to bond together. And that you can also have the caveat of giving back to a charity like St. Jude, it seems just to be a no-brainer. Now, are you, you're also unveiling the world's largest children's <laughs> book in uh, Rockefeller Center in New York. Yes, I don't That's know if you, if you can see behind me, but behind me are some pages of the book. And we actually did that already this morning. We unveiled it on the Today Show. And then I later came to the stage and I read to a bunch of children from PS22 in Brooklyn. And it's a book of dreams, basically, where it's encouraging children to dream big, inspired by kids who've been on a sail on Carnival Cruise in the spring. And I read to all these kids and they shouted out some of their dreams and they shouted out some of their hopes. And it was really, it's really lovely. And, you know, I hope for them that they do get to achieve them. Now, did you feel like Edith Ann, you know, because it was such a big book, you were sitting on your big <laughs> I chair? I know. I, I am in kind of a big chair. Can you imagine? Thank God I'm not in a ridiculous outfit. No, you know what it really felt like? It felt so whimsical to me. And the, the drawings are really whimsical, and the ideas are whimsical, and the, the fact of what Carnival is doing is just lovely. You know, we, I have been on a cruise as an adult with my family, and I think it's beautiful being under the stars on the ocean. I mean, it's, it's not the same as being on land for us land lovers. It's, it's beautiful. And this morning was beautiful. It's a great day in New York. We have the, oh, those Yankees down the way, you know, and their ticket oh, tape yes. parade. You know, that little thing. Absolutely. Did you, are you going to go to the parade? No. 
I'm here. <laughs> the parade is happening now, and I'm here. But I, you know, I, I've been watching the games. I'm in a play on Broadway. And so I get done, and no one's going out for drinks right now. We all, we jump in our cars, and we raced home to see the end of the baseball games. And it was really, it was really great. We're really proud. Now, what, uh, what favorite children's stories were read to you, and what, do you read, what did you read to your kids? I read a lot to my children. Um, you know, I, I remember as a kid reading The Little Princess and the Mother Goose. My mom read a lot of Mother Goose to us. I read to my kids. I'm in the play now, but I'm not in the play. Every night, and we read certainly when they were younger than Mother Goose. Um, I love almost anything that Scholastic puts out. You know, they're just a fantastic company. And I read uh, the whole Harry Potter series I read with my, she from 9 to 11, with my 9 to 11 year old. And for the little ones, they're into, not really into, we're not ready for the Judy. But, oh, you know what we're reading? The Boxcar Children. Have you ever read The Boxcar Children? Mm. That's an adorable story, a little series. We read The Boxcar Children. We read, not really Winnie the Pooh anymore. Mm, I'll think about it. Now, uh, speaking of education, you were just honored by the Tisch School of Arts. So you went to that school. What were your fondest memories? When I went to the Tisch School of the Arts, I was in a conservatory acting program. It was a three-year program with 18 other students. And all my best memories are simply of my friends, the friends in the program. How they made me laugh, how they deepened me, how they were in a play. And what was so awesome about the uh, Tisch School honor is that many of them were there. And it was like, you know, I hadn't seen them since yesterday. It was fantastic. And then Tony Kushner was there and did the most beautiful introduction for me possible. But I do hope I live up to it. It was so beautiful. But I had great memories of Tish, you know, riding around on a bicycle for my little 40 floor walk up it felt like to, to school. It, it was great, Washington Square Park. It was wonderful. Marcia, thank you so much for joining me and good luck cruising with Carnival and this book. Thank you, and to, thank and you. Children, uh, to, children well, I'm really them. happy for the kids at St. Jude that they're going to benefit so much from this. Thanks again. Thank you. Bye. You can play with us during the day, Tess said out loud, but stealing our dreams at night is no longer allowed. The next night, everyone slept snug and sound, and the kids in Paris.